Do you think that what the Federal Reserve has done since the financial crisis has hindered or helped the recovery? Well, I, I think that, uh, and I'm not operating in a vacuum here. I've, Jeff Myron is my economics advisor. I had the help of the entire Chapman University um, economics department uh, helping me out in all this. The overall, the 100% consensus is, is that if the banks would have been allowed to fail, it would not have been a systematic failure, that we should have allowed that to happen. Uh, you'd have seen a very, very steep decline. You and I might have been able to take advantage of the prices that existed for that real estate at its low point, but uh, we, weren't, we weren't able to take advantage of it because the banks were able to hold those assets at zero interest rates. And so if we would have allowed the banks to fail, the curve would have been very steep, but uh, the recovery that we would have encountered after that would have been steady and arguably we might be back to where we're at today anyway. I mean, I think that if you ask most economists uh, about that question, they would probably disagree with you. I mean, why, why do you think the consensus in Washington, economists like Ben Bernanke, who is a very respected uh, student of the Great Depression, he, he made the opposite decision. What, what do you think the reason for that is? I, I couldn't say, but um, based, on, based on my advisors, um, look, we would have survived it, and uh, it would have been the market at work. And so what kind of uh, Federal Reserve Chair would you look to nominate uh, in that post as president? Well, I pride myself on, uh, on not having specific criteria other than just a, a good person, in this case, uh, highly educated, obviously, and, uh, and really erring on the... I'd like to do away with the dual mandate of the Federal Reserve, which is full employment and uh, inflation, uh, returning to just an inflation mandate. So uh, I'd, be on the, I'd be on the tightening side of, uh, uh, of money. I mean, thinking about this in this case right now, we have no problem with inflation, but we do have a problem with uh, too much unemployment. I, that seems like an odd position to take, at least at this point. Well, I do believe that at some point we are going to um, we're we're going to have really horrible inflation to accompany this. I realize that it hasn't shown up, but uh, I'm in the camp that believes that at some point it's going to show up in a really big way.